Congratulations. <clears throat> Throwing in the towel? Hardly, but you've certainly scored another all-time low. Well, since our fall from grace, it's been onward and upward. Oh, that's debatable. So much for a fair fight. Well, all's fair or whatever. Whatever. I'm taping my segment on ratings codes for television this morning. Well, an A for effort, B for banality, C I, for I don't care what you channel. think about it. What I care about is the fact that my director did my run through last night and has got all my timing notes. Bully for Henry. I need him in the studio ASAP. What's your point? My point is, I look on the schedule and lo and behold, my director is across town on a remote with your idea of a ratings bonanza, Elise Flynn. Oh, that. Scheduling yeah. conflict. Unavoidable. My butt, you did it to screw me up and you know it. Delusions of paranoia. Maybe the studio nurse can give you something for that. I, uh, I, gotta, t I gotta hand it to you. I really do. You really know where to hit a guy. You know, right below the old production line. Well, big problems make a good studio manager. Oh, like hell. Anymore, that's bull, and you know it. This segment was my last entry in the ratings bonanza. Yeah. And whether you want to admit it or not, you've been working overtime to flush both me and it down the toilet. That's enough. Go to your corners. This is private. Duking it out at 40 decibels? Did I exaggerate? Did I open the mic? Tad's verbal assaults are disrupting the workplace. She fired the first shot and you know His it. His constant whining, his in-your-face confrontations, the tongue lashings. It's amazing anybody can get any work whining? done around you here. You want to talk about whining? Who do you think you're kidding with this beleaguered boss lady routine? You're you know, playing to the you wrong You want to win your market table? share? Act like a man! Shut up, both of you. This is a TV station, not a sandbox. Oh, sure, it's easy for you to say. This was all your idea. This little ratings relay was your brainchild, remember? Behold, the answer to all your problems. I mean, after all, this used to be called the cutting edge with Erica Kane, so let me choose who will get the job. Erica, I've never seen you look more radiant. Absolutely. You look great. I do clean up good, don't I? <laughs> I meant to say something yesterday. Your vacation obviously agrees with you. Well, now, Liza, I was in rehab, not Rio. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I admire your spirit. I feel absolutely transplendent. That means that I'm at peace with myself and the world. How nice of you to come out of your busy orbit to have settled down and visited the old stomping grounds. Well, I am a firm believer in sharing the wealth. Adam, feel free to avail yourself of my considerable executive expertise. <laughs> I'm sure we hold your opinion in high regard, Erica. Managerial decisions should be made without bias, without sentiment. So no hard feelings for me letting you go? There's nothing to have hard feelings about. That's big of you. Well, just to show you that there are no hard feelings, I might even consider coming back to Studio 2. Depending, of course, on uh, who is running the station. Well, I'll certainly keep that in mind for future reference. <laughs> As for who gets the coveted top spot, uh, Tad and Liza both know the rules. Whoever racks up the most rating points wins. And who's leading? At this moment, it's anybody's game. You look great. <laughs> thank you. So do you. Well, thank you. I have actually learned at the Betty Ford Center that confession is not only good for the soul, it's great for the complexion. <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to work. Oh, please, Liza, don't run off. There's something that I need to say to uh, all of you. I have spent 28 days in recovery. I have been sifting through the damage that I did and left behind. I come back, and like the wonderful professionals that you are, you have cleaned up after me. Like good hosts, you bust me on the cheek, you tell me that I look good, and not one of you mentions how I got high and embarrassed you at that party. Although I understand that the person I embarrassed most, of course, was myself. I don't even remember a lot of the things that I said or did under the influence of those drugs, but I do know that I did hurtful things, and I said hateful things. And I want to tell you all, but I'm very sorry. You don't have to apologize. Yes, I do. Or I couldn't face you. Or you, Adam. Or you, Ted. 
Or even you, Liza. I'm sorry. You placed your faith in me, and I let you down. You trusted me to be a professional, and I abused that trust. I lied, I threw tantrums, and I placed blame. It takes guts to admit that. The night of the media awards, that fateful night, I got off more rounds, as Opal would say, than at a Coney Island shooting gallery. Well, they were cheap shots. Especially those wildly inappropriate insinuations that I made about your husband and, and Liza Colby. Look, I sincerely hope that I did not cause any trouble in your marriage because, believe me, that was just the product of, of, of a drugged-up fantasy. Honestly, there was not a shred of truth to it. Oh, I believe you. I believe my husband. Well, why don't we all join hands and form a human chain? Liza, am I forgiven? Of course you're forgiven. There's really no sense in living in the past, is there? Adam? All is forgiven and forgotten as water under the bridge. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to see you looking so fit. <laughs> I am even more fit than he knows. No doubt. You want to arm wrestle to see who gets to host the show? Oh, no. Really, Chad, I'm out of the spotlight for the moment. I just said that to get Liza's goat. So much for the new and improved Erica. Oh, come on, Chad. I mean, I'm sober. I'm not a saint. <laughs> By rights, you should have been a station manager. That is wrong that could be righted. What can I do to help you turn the tide against Liza? That depends which one of the 12 steps is revenge. <laughs> well, now, Liza Colby is certainly not a friend, but not, let's not quibble about that. I mean, what can I do? What can I do to ensure the rise of Taz and the fall of Liza? What are your plans for the rest of the morning? Uncle Adam. You playing hooky? Uh, no school today. Teacher's conference. What brings you down to the station? I'm applying for a summer internship. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I didn't want to get the job just because I'm related to the head honcho, you know? Well, the head honcho may not think you're right for the job. It's a high-stress position, Scott. Why don't you wait a year? You'll be in college. Well, I need something to do for the summer. You can volunteer with Stuart at the hospice. I know. Dad's been hounding me about that. Did you tell him that you're applying for this apprenticeship? No, but it's my life. But he's your father. Talk it over with him, Scott. If he gives his okay, we'll take it from there. Fair enough? I guess. Sir, if I uh, hang around for a bit? Yeah, come on. I'll give you the cook's tour. Let's go here. Now, are you sure you want to do this? Absolutely. Well, we don't want you to feel pressured. I volunteered. Yeah, but if you change your mind, I'm not... This will be a cleansing experience for me. And a chance to stick it to life. Absolutely, it will be the cherry on my parfait. <laughs> well, how goes the battle of the network stars? Tad's test marketing a new strategy. Boring his audience. Oh, here's today's topic. Uh, rating codes for television, caution or censorship? Yeah, how's that for a yawn? They're going to be turning off their sets in droves. Well, it just proves the old adage, cheaters never prosper. <laughs> Oh, Erica, darling, don't you just look too, too divine. Don't I? <laughs> Liza, do you remember that really selfless offer you suggested that I f be featured on your show? You've reconsidered? It would make amazing television, not to mention a rating scoot de gras. Are you free tomorrow? I'm free right now. Oh, but Tad's going to be taping his show and... I can be ready in five. Oh, you, you don't understand. I'm doing Tad's show. Oh. I'm sorry, didn't I make myself clear? last minute scheduling changes remember not without my approval oh contrary you sabotaged my pa time for me to go with plan b meet plan b as in buffo i'm sure our station owner would have something to say about this adam well i'll allow you to uh, work out the details if you need me tad i'll be in makeup what now 
Chad wants to feature Erica on today's show. You have a problem with that? Yes, no format, no pre-interview, no clearance from legal. Erica could get in front of the camera, say just about anything, embarrass the entire station. Or give me the ratings to put me right over the top, which is exactly what you're afraid of. The day I'm afraid of you is the day pigs fly. Didn't they fly Babe out to the coast for the Oscars? Oh, and that's enough. Stop it. As much as it pains me to admit it, Eliza has raised some important concerns. Oh, Adam, come on. Erica may think she's ready to go public with her story, but she's been out of rehab, what, a week? Less. I think she's rushing it. One hard question and she may both, leaving you with no guest and an hour of dead air time. Not true and you know it. We're talking about Erica here. She's primed and she's ready to go. I say we use her. Okay. But it's your funeral if she doesn't pull it off. Oh, somebody's going to get buried, all right. Sure as hell ain't going to be me. Today we have a very special show Thank you so much for, you. for coming very down cool. here, very honey. Of course, now this is your hour of you truth. It, well, your 42 woman, minutes yes, minus <laughs> commercial. Fine Just go out there the and you show them what the Eric Kane is made of. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Her Thank face you. has graced every major publication in America, but you undoubtedly remember her as the hostess with the most. The woman that single-handedly put the cutting edge on the map. I'm talking about the one and the only Erica Kane. Thank Erica, you, welcome Chad. back. Thank so good to have you here. Thank you. Did you redecorate my set? A little bit. Do you approve? Oh, I think it has a very strong and very masculine appeal. Ooh. I love it. Definitely, I approve. <laughs> so does it feel a little strange to be back? Strange, yes. Yeah, strange but nice. In a way, I feel like I've never left. Well, with your blessing, I'd like to do something that we don't normally do in interviews. I, I just want to completely forgo the Q&A, and I want to turn the first part of the show over to you. Thank you, Ted. It really is good to be back. I've missed you, my friends, my fans. Feels like forever since I stepped in front of a camera. And yet it really hasn't been that long. Oh, I am so lucky to be here. I am so lucky to be alive. Where have I been the last six months? Touring through hell. I did a limited engagement on Front Street. I played a drug user trying to score pills from a drug pusher. But then I went on to greater things. Drug rehab. Unless you've just returned from the planet Jupiter, by now you know that I, I admitted myself to the Betty Ford Center for treatment to a controlled substance because I was out of control. I became addicted to painkillers after a freak accident and I couldn't help myself. Well, before I came to that realization, I did a lot of damage. And that's why I'm here. I'm here to say I am truly sorry. I want to apologize to my crew. To Donna, our lighting director. To Henry, our director. To Bobby, our camera operator. There were days that I came to the studio so high that I couldn't remember a cue and I couldn't hit a mark. I pitched fits, I, I threw tantrums, I, I was a prima donna. And yet all of you, you gave your all to make me look good. Let's go to the phone, okay? Call the number one, are you there? Miss Kay? I'm here. I just want to say that I think you are the bravest, most courageous woman that I have ever had the privilege to call girlfriend. You're tying up the line, Ma. Well, I'm sorry, but my three minutes aren't up. Opal, I thank you for your very, very kind words. In fact, I, I really thank all my friends and and family. It was tough love, but it was love nonetheless. Caller number two, are you with us? Oh, hi. Am I on the air? Yes, you are. Do you have a question for Erica? Yeah, if you all don't mind the inquisitive, uh, whatever happened to Miss Kane's doctor? 
I beg your pardon? Oh, you know that handsome gentleman who was on the cover of Temple magazine? I'm no longer in his care. Well, rumor has it that the handsome Dr. Kinder has been next in the long line of Erica Kane's husband. 